A daughter now sentenced to 30 years in prison for leaving her mother to die and living with the decayed body for years. Eyewitness News reporter Zach Briggs talks to the Seguin police chief about the horror uncovered in this investigation. Horrific is the only word that really comes to my mind. It's been over a year since Seguin police discovered the skeletal remains of 71-year-old Jacqueline Creighton inside this house after investigating claims of child abuse. This is the, the things that make TV shows out of and movies. You, you don't think something like this could ever happen. Jacqueline's daughter, Delisa Creighton, now pleading guilty, admitting she left her fallen mother on the bedroom floor to die. Her body left to rot for three years. How can you do that to anyone? let alone your own blood, your mother, the, the person that gave birth to you, that has raised you uh, and, and got you to where you are in life, uh, to simply shut the door and pretend like uh, the person on the side door doesn't need any help uh, is just unfathomable. Delisa convicted of multiple felony crimes, two related to injury to elderly and one for injury to a child. That child being Delisa's daughter, who according to court documents, was prevented from attempting to help her grandmother. It's hard to imagine, uh, again, what that child grew up in, spent multiple years of her life in, and we're glad to have this behind us. We're glad the defendant accepted her responsibility, and now will be spending uh, probably the rest of her adult life in prison. Police Chief Terry Nichols says Jacqueline, who worked for Seguin ISD for 35 years, touched the lives of many. Jackie Creighton was a long-standing member of our community, very well liked, very well loved, and it hit, the, it hit this community very hard. And Chief Nichols tells me that the house where this incident took place was a few months ago was demolished and condemned. Reporting live tonight, Zach Briggs, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.